Alien Romulus is directed by Fede Alvarez and it stars Kaylee Spaney, David Johnson and Isabella Merced. And in the sequel to Alien, but the prequel to Aliens, a group of young colonizers explore an abandoned space station, only to come face to face with a dangerous alien species. Now, as I told you in my last video, Alien is my favorite horror movie of all time. I didn't mention this, but Aliens is one of the best action movies of all time. But we don't talk about Alien 3, Alien Resurrection, Alien vs Predator, Aliens vs Predator Requiem. We can kind of talk about Prometheus, and we don't talk about Alien Covenant. Watch me. I'll do the fingering. But I am, of course, going to be talking about Alien Romulus in this video. Now, when I saw the trailers, I was hyped. I was like, yes, finally, a good old classic Alien movie. Gone are the days of the pretentious Prometheus and Alien Covenant films, even though I don't mind Prometheus. And gone are the stupid Alien vs Predator and Alien Resurrection movies. We're finally going to get a true Alien movie. And unfortunately, I didn't think this movie lived up to the hype. Now, I don't think this movie's bad. In fact, I'd even go as far to say it's a good movie. But I didn't want to be saying it's a good movie by the end of it. I wanted to be saying it was a great movie. My biggest complaint with this movie is that it's basically a not as good version of the original movie. It even takes some elements of the original and just rips them off. Like this paying homage and it's just completely ripping stuff off. They, they reuse so many lines from the original two films to the point where it got really annoying after a couple times. Like, it's just so clear that it tried so hard to be the original that it didn't distinguish itself in many ways, to be honest. In fact, they just rip off a lot of the characters from the first two films. Literally. I'm not going to get into that, don't worry. But, I don't, I don't know. It, it just felt like they tried so hard to be the first alien that it really didn't try to be its own thing. I also just think this film wasn't as tense or scary in many parts. Of course, for the jump scares, they just used the like, DUN or BAAAAAAA noise. Because that's what's scary, apparently. Yeah, I'm getting so sick and tired of that. It, it happens so many times. Some of the jump scares are predictable. You know when they're coming. And it just drained a lot of the tension throughout the movie. But despite how disappointing this movie was... Uh, I, as I said, it is a good movie. One aspect that I do think they improved on was that some of the characters were a lot better than the ones in the original film. All of the crewmates have a goal, and they have a reason as to why they'll explore this space station. And it's totally understandable. You know, everyone has their motivation, their reasonings. Perfectly clear. And that's what made them a little more interesting, I'd say. And everyone services the plot in some way. Especially Isabella Merced's character. She had an aspect of her character that really brought a lot of tension to the movie. Especially in the final act. Which, coincidentally, is where this movie starts to become great. It's just a shame that it ended so early after. My favourite character is certainly Andy, our Ash for this film. I liked his art of accepting that he has to help the people around him. Not the higher ups. And I liked that... He goes through changing emotions and motivations for this film. But you know that he can't help it. It's in his programming. So you certainly really do feel for him as a character. There was one other character, but I'm not going to say who it was because it is a major, major spoiler. But when I tell you what, what it was like for me, you'll certainly know who I'm talking about if you've seen this movie. But I felt he was done very respectfully. It certainly hits into a topic that... Is very divisive among moviegoers, understandably. But I think the way they portrayed this character was respectful and he serviced the plot in a good way. This film also has some great moments. I like this whole scene in an elevator shaft. That was a really, really intense scene. The way they utilised the shaft, the elevator, the aliens was really great. And the whole final act, as I said, was the best part of this movie. Again, that's where this movie started to become great. And they use the aspect of anti-gravity in this film really well. There's this whole scene in the corridor with an added element to it. I'm not going to spoil it. 
But again, another great sequence in this movie. When this movie tries to distinct itself and try something new, I was really into it. But again, when it stopped too close to Alien and Aliens, it didn't really work for me, unfortunately. And technically, this film is both really good and pretty bad. The pretty bad stuff is mainly the editing. The cuts are way too quick and jarring throughout this film. I don't know what it was, but whenever a conversation just ends, it's like cut immediately. There's no like couple seconds to let it linger in your mind. Cuts are just way too quick. You never get the sense of slow burn tension. That was really where I was very disappointed with the technical aspects of this film. But the visuals on the other hand were really great. There are some brilliant shots in this movie and the film's direction as well. Alvarez uses a lot of long takes throughout this film and they really help build the tension of these long chase sequences. And I really appreciate that they use a lot of practical effects in this film. For example, the Xenomorphs, the best looking Xenomorph since, heck, Alien Resurrection. Uh, I also like the practical sets, the look of the space station, the planet that they're on for not long, but that looks great as well. I, I just really love the overall look of this film. And I also like the sound design of this film as well. How when we're out in space you don't really hear anything. Just really realistic sound design. Overall, the technical aspects apart from the editing really work for me. And finally, the performances were all really great. Kaylee Spaney, I am a huge fan of her now. She's a great actress. She was great in this. She was great in Civil War. Absolutely a standout here. I know chemistry with David Johnson really works. Those two were really great too. And the other actors in this film did a really good job as well. Isabella Merced, Spike Fian. I apologise if I said that name wrong. They all did a really good job. It's clear everyone in front and behind of the camera really put a lot of effort into this film to make the best movie possible. And even though I don't think they did that, I really respect their efforts. So overall, Alien Romulus was a bit of a disappointment for me. It, it did have some great moments. The acting's all great. The characters are a, a lot more fleshed out for me. It's brilliant visually. But this movie had all of the ingredients and components to be great, not just good. And that's why it was a bit disappointing to me. Some of the scares were very lacklustre. When it tried to be like Alien and Aliens, that's where this movie faltered to me. I don't know. There was just so many moments where I was not into it. And I, I, don't want, I didn't want to be saying that at the end of this film. This film was a big disappointment, even though it was good. If you're a huge Alien fan, I'd say lower your expectations. Go into it thinking it's like a good movie, not great. Because I think you'll be disappointed if you set your expectations way too high. So overall, Alien Romulus was good, not great. I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Overall, I, I enjoyed it, but it could have been so much more. And guys, that is it for the end of this review. I hope you all enjoyed if you have seen Alien Romulus, let me know your thoughts on it. Did you like it? Did you not? Let me know. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is Gibson Harrison, signing off.